How to activate Facebook Marketplace on a new account. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel How to Geek. In this video, I will simply guide you on how you can activate the Facebook Marketplace to sell products on Facebook on a new account. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Now, the very first thing you have to understand is that Facebook doesn't have eligibility requirements for Facebook Marketplace because the Marketplace icon should be available to everybody by default. Now, if you don't see the Marketplace icon at the home tab, or maybe if you're using on Android, you'll be able to see them at the top. It could be that the option is actually hidden so for that just come to the menu page over here you can see shortcuts so you can see the see more button and under the see more button you simply have to locate marketplace and then just tap on it and when this time go to marketplace you'll be able to activate marketplace and then use it if i show you my own commerce profile over here you can see i've sold a number of products and i've made a number of listings on facebook marketplace as well now the only reason why facebook marketplace will not be shown up in yours is due to your underage account so if your facebook account is under 18 years of age let's say when you created the account you just set it under the 18 years of age criteria then it basically means you won't have the facebook marketplace feature so to check that you can just come to your menu page again and then just go to your settings and privacy go to the option called settings and then you want to simply go to see an account center go to the option called personal details over here tap on birthday and then make sure to simply change the birthday to at least older than 18 years of age if this doesn't help the problem is with your facebook app because as i said it doesn't have an eligibility requirement so to fix that all we have to do is if you're using on iphone open up settings then go to general then go to iphone storage and once you go to iphone storage simply locate the application called facebook on the list and once you simply find facebook just tap on it tap on offload app and then tap on the offload app button again from the bottom if this does help that's perfectly fine if it doesn't though open up your app store check if the facebook app has an update available if it does then make sure to update the facebook app to the latest version what updating does is it's going to get rid of most of the bugs and errors that existed in the previous versions of the application and hopefully one of these solutions may have helped solve the problem if it did help solve your problem then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have got any more questions feel free to also leave them down. Thank you very much for watching till the end of the tutorial and see you in the next video.